Well, round number two is just around the corner and anxious moments for Tony Schumacher. Yes, lean times for the seven-time champion recently. It's been four years since he won a title. And that is why Jamie Howe took a walk and had a talk for Top Fuel winning his driver a couple of races ago. Tony, the last time that we talked, it was the direction that the team was going that had you encouraged about the rest of the season. Right. But you've won twice since then. The direction is, has been achieved for the most part. So what do you do now as a team in order to maintain that? I think we keep building off what we've learned. And, I, and it, it truly has been near the top of my adversity lessons uh, the last couple of years. Very different, very unique what we're doing. Uh, not just the safety aspects, which we've absolutely surpassed anything that Top Fuel Dragster's ever had with the panels inside and the canopy and the cockpit. But the performance, moving into the six disc clutch, making it work, the power levels that you have to do, the angles of, of the, the levers on the clutch, all these complications that come with making any change. And I think now that we've worked so hard to get it, we need to leave nothing on the table. And we need to dominate like the old days. And it's not going to be nearly as easy. we got great cars out there. The performance level, the teams that are out there are so much better than they used to be. Um, I think the fans are really getting their money for it. They're, they're getting what they're paying for. They're coming out to a, a race. Uh, they're spending their hard-earned money to come out and see something uh, spectacular, and we're giving it to them. Talk about that competition. Last year, everybody said that it was the toughest competition that we've seen. This year, it seems that it stepped up even more. Why is that? Well, you know, at, at one point, myself, Ellen Johnson, we had this one team, and everyone else was fighting for the second. We all knew that. It was the way it was. And now all those teams have dispersed. They're all amongst different people. Um, Ellen Johnson's tune-up, our tune-up, they're out there. You know, and, and there's 10 teams that can win on any given weekend. How do you win a championship, though? Ice cold. Ice cold. I mean, you got to be absolutely ice cold. What makes you great at one thing probably makes you a little less of, of, of some something else. But you have to be that good and that focused. And I think you have to be able to do it when the pressure's on. Some guys are really good at that and some guys aren't. That is a very difficult thing to be extremely good all the time, but even better than that sometimes when absolutely mandatorily has to happen, when you have to be perfect. And with that epic win, Tony Schumacher tied Greg Anderson fourth all time, 74 each. We decided to stack up the top four. Take a look at their win percentages, Mike. What did we come up with? Well, it's pretty impressive here with all of those drivers. Big names in the top five, but hey, the king of them all, the greatest drag racer of all time, Big Daddy Don Garlitz, won almost 30% of the races he competed in. Amazing. Big Daddy Don Garlitz on the quest for 200 on batteries. The calm before the storm for Antron Brown and Steve Torrance. They each wish each other a safe pass before they match up head-to-head -head as round number two is upon us here in Norwalk. The first pair will feature Troy Buck and Pat Dakin with Lane Choice going to number 13 qualifier.